So in a previous bite-size uh, tutorial, I talked about um, grouping and uh, selecting atoms. Uh, and using that uh, system, I was selecting atoms uh, individually um, using the cell, uh, the cell command and the, each of the atoms' individual names. But it's worth noting that you can select atoms um, by many different routes. Uh, and one of those is um, you can actually select a series of atoms using the actual uh, connectivity, whether they're in a ring or not. Now you can do this through the menu um, by going to the work um, tab and then moving down through to the selection uh, sub-menu. And, and here you see uh, already the, 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 there's an option to select five-membered rings, six-membered rings, pyridine rings, uh, and forans and things like that. So let's do six-membered rings and you can see instantly all of the six-membered rings um, have been selected and we can use the command again cell atom bonds just like we did previously um, to select all of the bonds that connect those rings and that all works really nicely. Uh, we can also select five membered rings uh, just like before and we can use the same command. I'm using the up arrow key here to jump through the commands. Um, if you're old like me you might remember DOS key um, which allows you to go up and uh, up and down uh, DOS commands uh, that you previously typed. This is what uh, the OLX2 has that similar feature. Um, it's very common for Unix users. But I digress. Um, so that's all the five-membered rings. And obviously this is called a six-membered ring because that's built up from these five-membered rings. Um, now I can also use the commands to pick out particular atoms. I can, like using the menu here, I can select only the hydrogens. Uh, and you can do that um, uh, additive, so I can select all the hydrogens and then I can select all the carbons. Um, but if I had another element in there it would be unselected. And I can do the same thing for the command line as well. I can type cell and uh, dollar $C for all of the carbons. Uh, and dollar $H for all of the hydrogens and you can see I've got the same effect but in one command so that's quite useful um, way of selecting atoms as well. Um, the selection command is incredibly powerful uh, and I'm going to be coming back to this over and over again um, but there is one nice uh, thing that I should raise uh, at this stage you can see here that all of a sudden I've got a lot of uh, atom labels showing up and that's because cell also can be used for giving you information. So if I click on two atoms, um, you saw a little pop-up appear. There you go, that's giving me the, the distance. But I can also type cell, uh, and that will give me the, the actual distance written out. So here we go, it's 2.97 uh, angstroms, uh, as well as the atom uh, names. And because I'm working with a SIF, I can also use the command called ESD. Uh, and that will give me the same information but with the with the error on on that distance and that's it for cell uh, and uh, tune in for for more bite-sized casts in the future